Imagine an advanced civilization, thriving and powerful, only to vanish without a trace in a single catastrophic day and night. Welcome to the mystery that is Atlantis. In the vast ocean of history, there are many mysteries that have left us perplexed and curious. One such enigma is the legendary island of Atlantis. It's a tale that dates back to the ancient Greeks, first told by the philosopher Plato in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias. He spoke of a civilization that was advanced and powerful beyond comprehension, a society that in many ways was a utopia. But as the story goes, this utopia met a tragic end, destroyed in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods, disappearing without a trace. Over the years, the story of Atlantis has evolved from a simple tale to a complex web of theories and speculations. It has gripped the imaginations of historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike, sparking countless debates and discussions. Was it a real place? If so, where was it located? The Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean, or even Antarctica? Every theory brings with it a fresh wave of intrigue and fascination. But despite these numerous theories and conjectures, the existence of Atlantis remains shrouded in mystery. Concrete evidence, the kind that could put all speculations to rest, is yet to be found. It's a void that only adds to the allure of this enigmatic island. The legend of Atlantis is not just a tale of a lost civilization, it's a narrative that reflects our insatiable curiosity, our desire to unravel the unknown. It's a story that continues to enchant us, to inspire our literature, our films, our conversations. It is a symbol of human imagination, our capacity to weave tales of wonder and awe. So here we are, centuries later, still captivated by the mystery of this lost civilization, still trying to piece together the puzzle that is Atlantis. And the big question remains, where was Atlantis or did it even exist at all? Our journey to unravel Atlantis begins with the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. This renowned thinker who lived over 2,000 years ago is our primary source of information about the mysterious island of Atlantis. In his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, Plato recounts the tale of a civilization that was both advanced and powerful, a society that was the epitome of prosperity and enlightenment. In the dialogue Timaeus, Plato introduces Atlantis through the character Critias, who tells the story of a mighty island nation located beyond the pillars of Hercules. According to Critias, Atlantis was a paradise, rich in natural resources and adorned with magnificent architecture, including palaces, temples, and harbors. The island was divided into ten kingdoms, each ruled by a king. These kings were descendants of Poseidon, the god of the sea, who had fallen in love with a mortal woman on the island. This divine lineage made the rulers of Atlantis not just kings, but demigods, possessing both wisdom and power. Now let us delve into Critias, the second dialogue, where Plato further expands on the grandeur of Atlantis. Here he describes a civilization that was technologically advanced, with a well-organized military and a highly developed system of governance. Plato paints Atlantis as a beacon of civilization, a place where wisdom and power worked in harmony to create a society that was the envy of the world. But, as the story goes, the Atlanteans grew arrogant and power-hungry. They began to lose their divine wisdom and virtue, prompting the gods to punish them with a day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. In the span of a single day and night, Atlantis was swallowed by the sea, disappearing without a trace. Plato's account paints a vivid picture of Atlantis, but was it a real place or a philosophical metaphor? This question has puzzled scholars and enthusiasts for centuries, and as we continue our journey, we'll explore the various theories and speculations that attempt to answer this enigma. The Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, or even the icy continent of Antarctica, the proposed locations of Atlantis are as varied as they are intriguing. Let's dive into the ocean of theories that attempt to pinpoint the exact location of this legendary island. First, we have the Atlantic Ocean theory, which is the most traditional one since it follows Plato's original account. Those who believe in this theory argue that Atlantis was located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, modern-day Strait of Gibraltar, in the Atlantic Ocean. They suggest that evidence of underwater ruins and geological formations in this area could point to the lost city. However, skeptics point out that there's no definitive archaeological proof supporting this theory. 
Next stop, we sailed to the Mediterranean Sea. Some researchers believe that Atlantis was actually located closer to home in the Mediterranean. They argue that the descriptions of Atlantis match certain islands or regions within the Mediterranean, such as Santorini, Crete, or even Sicily. The catastrophic eruption of the Thera volcano around 1600 BC, which led to the collapse of the Minoan civilization, is often cited as a possible inspiration for Plato's story. But again, concrete evidence is lacking, and critics argue that Plato clearly stated Atlantis was beyond the Mediterranean. Finally, let's venture to Antarctica. This theory is relatively recent and quite controversial. Proponents suggest that Earth crust displacement moved Atlantis from a temperate zone to the South Pole. They point to anomalies in the ice and unusual geological formations as potential evidence. However, this theory is often dismissed by mainstream scientists due to lack of substantial evidence and the radical deviation from Plato's geographic description. Each theory carries its own allure and skepticism, adding more layers to the enigma of Atlantis. As we continue our exploration, it's clear that the quest for Atlantis is a journey filled with captivating theories and enduring mysteries. So where do you think Atlantis might have been? The Atlantic, the Mediterranean, or Antarctica, or perhaps somewhere else entirely? The enigma of Atlantis continues to fascinate us and its elusive location adds to its timeless allure. From the pages of books to the screens of Hollywood, Atlantis has found a home in the realm of fiction. In this mesmerizing world of make-believe, Atlantis has been portrayed as a symbol of advanced ancient civilizations, often depicted as having been far superior to our own. The allure of Atlantis has inspired countless authors, filmmakers, and showrunners. One of the earliest examples in literature is Sir Thomas More's Utopia, a 16th century work that describes an ideal society on an island, drawing parallels with the social and political structures of Atlantis, as described by Plato. The fascination didn't stop at books. Atlantis has been a recurring theme in movies and television as well. The silver screen has seen numerous renditions of this fabled city, from the silent film Atlantis in 1912 to more recent blockbusters like Disney's animated feature Atlantis The Lost Empire. It's even found its way into the world of superheroes, with Atlantis being the homeland of the comic book hero Aquaman. Television hasn't been immune to the allure of Atlantis either. Series like Stargate Atlantis and Atlantis from the BBC have woven intricate narratives around this lost civilization, capturing the imagination of audiences worldwide. But it's not just the story of a lost civilization that captivates us. Atlantis has become a symbol, a metaphor for advanced ancient societies that were supposedly far ahead of their time. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of history and human progress, sparking endless debates and discussions. In the world of video games too, Atlantis continues to be a popular theme. Games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis have used the myth as a backdrop for their adventurous tales. So, even though we have no concrete evidence of its existence, Atlantis continues to thrive in popular culture. It's a testament to our fascination with the unknown, our love for a good mystery, and our eternal quest for understanding our past. Atlantis, while lost in history, lives on in our stories and imaginations. As we delve deeper into the mystery of Atlantis, we find more questions than answers. The existence of Atlantis is an enigma that has puzzled historians, scientists, and enthusiasts for centuries. Despite the numerous theories and speculations, concrete evidence regarding the existence of this legendary island remains elusive. The ancient texts, archaeological findings, and geological studies have yet to provide us with a definitive answer. Yet this lack of tangible proof does not diminish the allure of Atlantis. Instead, it fuels the intrigue, making the legend a popular topic of discussion and debate. The story of Atlantis has transcended the realm of ancient history and philosophy, making its way into modern discourse. It's a fascinating example of how a tale from the distant past can continue to captivate the human imagination, stirring a sense of wonder and curiosity. The legend of Atlantis also serves as a reminder of the power of stories. Whether the island truly existed or not, the narrative of a highly advanced civilization, its sudden downfall, and its subsequent disappearance, is a tale that resonates with us. It's a story that explores themes of hubris, power, destruction, and mystery, 
themes that are as relevant today as they were in Plato's time. In the end, the question is not just about the existence of Atlantis, but also about the human fascination with the unknown. It's about our innate desire to explore, to understand, and to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The story of Atlantis with all its allure and enigma continues to inspire us, challenging us to question, to imagine, and to seek the truth. It's a testament to the enduring power of stories and the insatiable curiosity of the human mind. Atlantis, a beacon of wonder and intrigue, forever stirring the depths of our curiosity. Was it real or merely a myth? The answer, like Atlantis itself, remains hidden.